Hey guys, so I want to do another video talking about small engine oil and uh, this is going to be a few tips on changing your oil and stuff. Uh, first thing I like to do, I like to get the motor good and warm. It don't have to be scalding hot like it, like you just got done cutting grass or anything. That's not necessary, but you want it warm. You don't want to do a cold oil change and the reason for that, when the engine's cold, your oil's cold, and your oil's going to be real thick because it's going to take longer to drain out and you're not going to get all your uh, sludge or residue out of the engine. So I like to get it good and hot, that way all the oil can drain off all the parts. And Most of my engines don't have oil filters. It's a very critical step to get all your contamination out of the engine. So now we're going to go ahead and start draining the oil. But there's a one thing I like to, there's a couple things I like to do before I start. That's, uh, first of all, I like to remove the dipstick. And when you take your, uh, oil plug out it's gonna make it drain faster just set it somewhere also take your key out or unhook your battery that way if somebody else comes around while the oil is draining they can't try to start it because you don't want to start an engine with no oil in it so let's go ahead and get the oil draining out then we'll go to the next step and if you're a subscriber you know back in summer I had a problem with this motor the crankcase filled up with gas due to a carburetor issue so uh, this is a, I haven't changed the oil since I put the oil in it, and this is a cheap oil I put in there just in case the problem happened again, I wasn't going to be wasting the good oil. Now you want to make sure that the oil don't come rushing out in your hand here. It's going to be hot and it's easy to get burnt. So now, I'm going to let your motor sit, let it drain, we'll go ahead and get the new oil ready to put in it. Alright, so I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail about brands and stuff, but I'm just going to talk briefly about what I've been using. I've been using Valvoline SAE30 and Lucas. And again, you want to follow your manufacturer's recommendations for your weight of oil. A lot of small engines are recommending 10W30 now. So you just got to pay attention to what your engine recommends, your engine manufacturer recommends. And this is an old flathead engine, and the flathead's and the flathead's kind of run a little bit hotter, they seem. So I like to use a Lucas to help keep the oil from thinning out quite as much. And this seems like a perfect combination. It works great. So now I'll show you how I've been mixing this. And I'm not sponsored by no brands or nothing. I buy all the stuff from all my videos myself. So don't think I'm getting paid to recommend this. Because I'm not. Okay, since I'm mixing oil, I like to do it in a measuring cup. And this... A little bit big for this engine. This engine requires 48 ounces. It's an opposed twin Briggs and Stratton, and it requires 48 ounces of oil. So Lucas recommends replacing 20 to 25 percent of your engine oil capacity with it. So we're going to add 75 percent oil, then top it off with 25 percent Lucas. So 48 divided by 4 is 12. So we're going to subtract 12 ounces from 48. So we're going to go to Filled up with oil to 36 ounces, then fill the rest with Lucas, and then we're going to mix it. So there's 32 ounces in a quart. So we know we can just go ahead and pour a whole quart in and not think twice about it. I highly recommend mixing oil, especially in small engines. Uh, Just helps get the, the oil mixed together better with the additives. Another good uh, oil additive is STP. I've used used to use it all the time, but I like Lucas better. It just seems to do better, and you can buy it in a bigger jug, and it's cheaper too. So now we're gonna go to 36 ounces, and that'll give us room for 12 ounces of Lucas. So now we're actually right at 33 ounces, 34. 35, right there's 36 ounces of oil. So now we're going to go all the way up to 48 with Lucas or STP, whatever oil additive you prefer. And just a reminder while we're mixing this, your oil is draining out of your motor, so you don't have to worry about, worry about that. You're getting all the oil out of your motor, so you're killing two birds with one stone. You're not wasting any time in the process. Okay. So there's our 48 ounces of motor oil. I got this long screwdriver. And I always 
use that to mix the oil with. You could use a paint paddle if you want, but I just uh, you don't take much. Just just to, you can actually look in there and you can see the Lucas mixing in with it. Now some of y'all probably think, well, he's going to the extreme just for a small engine, but uh, I just like to be safe and sorry. I'm trying to preserve these engines as much as I can. This engine doesn't really smoke any except for when you first start it, so I know it's got a lot of life left in it. Okay, so now take a clean rag and put it over that until you're ready to use it. Alright, so we've still got a pretty steady drip here from the oil, so we're just going to let it drain. I may actually jack up the other side of the mower just a little bit to help it drain. And we'll go ahead and put the cap on after it gets, gets done, and we'll put the fresh oil in it. Okay, the oil plugs back in, so now we're ready to add the fresh oil in it. Since we measured it, we don't have to keep stopping and starting to check it. We can just pour it all in. We know it's going to be the right amount, but we're still going to check it after it's in. Just been keeping the funnel in the cup where you don't have to keep cleaning this out and keeping the rag on top of it. And it's right on full. And don't forget if your engine has an oil filter, make sure the rubber ring comes off of it. And I like to add as much oil as you can, but if it goes on the side, you can't hardly put much in it. But uh, you want to run it for a little bit and then check it again, especially if your engine has an oil filter. I like to do it anyway on this, it helps coat everything. So let me start it up. And it's still right on full after running it. And as far as the old oil goes, just dumping in an old oil container and take it to a place that recycles it. Most auto parts stores do it for free. And if your pan's clean before you drain it, it's a good time to inspect for pieces of metal or anything. You can actually see a few little tiny pieces here and there and that's normal. If your engine has a oil filter, it's going to catch all this. Well, guys, if you've got any questions or comments about uh, changing oil on these, feel free to leave a comment below. The main purpose of this was talking about how I'm mixing the oil now. I just wanted to share it with you. It makes things a lot easier and more precise. Kind of takes the guesswork out of it. But uh, the main thing is always follow the manufacturer's recommendations for your oil types and oil weights, and you should be good to go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next video.